right here, two hundred and twenty thousand dollars total in renovation. Whoa. Whoa. So now it's worth about one hundred and fifty. And I did a capture. Wow. Of it was a real junker, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's a serious. If you've never come across Graham Stephan or even have a, the slightest bit of an idea as to who he is, well, this video is a, a billion percent for you. Like, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Graham Stephan is just like, he's like the, the goat. Okay, that was a terrible noise of a goat, but we were close enough. He is the goat, so that's exactly what we're watching today in this video. But with all of that being said, YouTube is running in P. Whoop! Want to join my free gift card giveaway? Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on the notification. Then let me know that you subscribe down below. That's it. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Ronnie MP. Thank you and welcome to a brand new video of It's Ronnie MP, the show where we bring you guys a bunch of videos suggested by you guys. And guess who? You guys only. So if you're brand new to the channel, then be sure to absolutely, you know what I'm about to say. If you're an OG to the channel, you know exactly what I'm about to say. Destroy that like button, okay? Like literally stamp on it and just destroy it because it genuinely means a ton for the YouTube channel. It helps get this video out in front of like-minded entrepreneurs such as you and me. So this way, we get to join the community together and as you already know we talk about personal finance we talk about what what can bring you more of these okay what can get you more of that exactly that's what we talk about on this channel so be sure to subscribe and just join the community you know but i'm super excited for this video because it's going to look we are about to receive a ton of value right now okay as i've mentioned graham stephan if you don't know who he is then do your research this guy is the most frugal millionaire you would ever come across ever period and that's on my mama son <laughs> so literally he's the most frugal millionaire you would ever come across if there's an extreme this is it but we love it because now he's financially free or financially independent as well as I, I, I don't even want to say on his way to retiring early because he can generally retire right now if he wants he's a multi-millionaire now but you know he chooses to work um and he's got an interesting job such as youtube so that's exactly we, what we're about to check out oh look at mr wonderful right there if you don't know who he is he's on shark tank if you don't watch shark tank and you are a so-called entrepreneur then i don't know what you are doing with yourself i'm giving you guys all of the nuggets okay and the nuggets is about to start right now because let's let's They'll get this video out in two seconds you Woo! will pay a brutal price for that never Oof. do that never oh never never, never. they oh. love their lifestyle yeah they went to zero. You must be ready to absolutely oh. write that off. Oh. There's a 50-50 chance you will. What is he talking about? <laughs> it's about to go down. It's about to go down. This is super interesting honest, already. Graham here. And, uh, well, I never and by the way, I used to be subscribed ago, to him. My channel, the God knows. Show, where seven I randomly reacted seven to thousand subscribers. On CNBC Make It called Millennial Money, which follows the financial lives of millennials and breaks down their spending habits. Mm. In a totally unexpected turn of events, those videos ended up getting enough views for CNBC Make It to actually take notice. And after a few wow. months, they invited me to be a guest on the series I loved so much, Millennial, Millennial Money. Money. But if I thought Let's things go. couldn't possibly get any better than that, I was wrong. CNBC they recently did. posted an episode of Millennial Money where they had none other than Kevin, Kevin O'Leary reacting to my spending habits and giving me his advice on how Mr. I can improve. Wonderful. So I responded to Kevin O'Leary in a follow-up video and then uh -huh. at the end of that video I made him an offer. I told him he could come on the channel and we could hash things out in person and he responded. Well, wow. it turns out he's in town now and what he doesn't realize is that this is not going to be just a typical meet and greet. Oh I my days. This can almost give me goosebumps because I'm so happy for his success. It's absolutely insane. Because I remember one of the videos, if you're an OG, you'd understand. One of the videos ages ago, like a while ago, he must have mentioned something about him meeting Kevin O'Leary. And um, they took a picture of something along that form. They, but I, I can't exactly remember. It was a while ago. He's been making videos for a hot minute right now. Um, and um, yeah, he took a picture of Kevin O'Leary. Um, I'm, I'm seeking to see or I'm, I'm i'm quite i'm quite intrigued to find out if kevin or not even kevin if kevin probably won't remember but if graham 
is going to reveal that picture to him or maybe show him i don't know something along those lines i'm so 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 stoked to see if that's going to be, it's going to be the Shark case Tank. instead mm. i'm going to have him react to my entire 10 million dollar investment portfolio Ooh. so with that said make sure to destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm this is how you know graham is wise because by him allowing kevin to basically review his life is going to give graham this is value that you can't even buy and i'm sure Kevin O'Leary will charge hundreds of thousands, if not millions, to have somebody or to have Kevin analyze someone's investment portfolios. The I'm sure it's going to be all of it. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be um, real estate. I'm sure it's going to be some stocks or ETFs, whatever um, Graham invests in. He's going to have Kevin break that down. This way, this is how wise Graham is. He's, this guy is not a fool, trust me. You don't become a millionaire by mistake. Strategic planning and success leaves trails. It's going to allow him to know exactly what what maybe he might want to potentially change, I guess, you know, where he could maybe reinvest his money, what he's doing wrong, all of these things. Right now, this video is gold. This video right here is priceless. Hands down, the best analysis you can get from Let's a billionaire. Let's bring on Kevin O'Leary. So Destroy that like button, by the way. I'm showing you this picture. I don't think you're going to remember oh. it. But what, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Say no more. Say no more. Remember it. But check this out. <laughs> Where was that? LAX airport. Wow. You're kidding. Yeah. Well, Dreams do come true, about baby. Eight years ago. Wow. Oh my yeah, days. You were just a spring chicken. I was traveling back from <laughs> Toronto, chicken. seeing yeah, family. Yeah. You were in the airport traveling. Yeah. And I was pointing to my dad like, "That's Kevin O'Leary," and he was telling me wow. to go take a picture. But I didn't have. The, I was so nervous. That's great. So then I think you were this about is, to I'm get so in the, in the car, video. and yeah. I figured this is my last chance to do this. Is this LAX? Yeah, this is LAX. Probably coming in to shoot Shark Tank. Yeah. Your initial nice. reaction to me on Millennial Money was that. I was a dick. You know, I just started <laughs> watching. I thought, this guy's going to be a dick. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I, I just, you know, I mean, the way that was set up was, watch this video. And I thought, this guy's going to be a dick. And I just <laughs> thought, you know, and then the more I listened to what you were saying, I said, hey, the guy's got, he's saying some things that I agree with around portfolio analysis, around, you know, budgeting, around understanding burn rate. And by the time that was over, I said, no, not a dick. <laughs> like, you know, the guy knows, I agree with what he's talking about. So I want you to react to something. Sure. I have Look how huge that painting is. Yeah. Worth a little bit over $10 million. Yeah. So I want you to go guys, through. Guys, I told you guys a little over $10 million. Dreams do come true. You're now sat in front of someone that you used to admire, someone that you wish potentially one day you'd become a millionaire and perhaps even meet and take just a photo. Now you're talking to him face to face and he's about to give you some priceless advice give me your These thoughts please thoughts. no this is everything. life gets is good if you carry okay. on working every single one of my investments Smart. got it so i want you to look through this okay so this is a piece of property number one purchased in 2012 nice mm -hmm. 59,000 cash and he did it in monopoly way as well that's 71. so sick rent 14,000 so this is a good investment that was unfortunately a cash deal the that whole thing, thing. The whole thing was a cash about. deal i was all in 71,500 you, you, you couldn't get credit at that time right i didn't have a credit card Right. Oh, so no bank okay. wanted to give a 21-year-old a loan because I had no credit history. Okay, so right there um, is an mm. important lesson. And I tell every millennial, even though I mm. don't endorse credit cards, it's very hard to advance your credit rating without having one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get a credit card, put maybe a $1,000 limit on it, and then start paying off, you know, use 200 bucks a month and pay it off every month. So I told my son as soon as he could get one, Trevor, Put 50 bucks on the card yep. and pay it off. Mm -hmm. And now he's got a pristine credit rating yep. and he's only ever put a few thousand bucks through the card. Oh, yeah. Everybody mm. should understand that. There's no way to game that system. You've got to establish a credit rating mm -hmm. or you can't mm. borrow. Yep. Property two, purchase 2012, cash again. Seven so cash. that's where Dave Eight. Ramsey comes in because obviously Dave Ramsey, as the ones, the OGs of the channel, the MP family, shout out to you guys. You guys would know that um, Dave Ramsey is completely against credit cards. In fact, it's the opposite stay away from credit cards i say or my take is on it uh, it's if you're young if you are advising credit cards to the young you need to make sure or you need to make sure you clearly tell them or inform them about the dangers of credit cards because you can easily as 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 you, let's be serious you can build your credit rating but as quickly as you can build it you could also destroy it 
you can absolutely destroy your credit rating you've got a bad score and in fact you would have been better off having zero score meaning you've got no record of borrowing money and never paying back rather than having a bad record of borrowing loads of money everywhere and not paying back that for me is a lot worse you would get the worst interest rates in the world so it's one of them things you really need to carefully analyze and see okay am i wise enough am i smart enough am i responsible enough to be able to do so if you think you are then by all means no one's gonna stop you you are a young adult um or, you know do what you gotta do but if 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 it goes left then don't say i didn't warn you renovation okay so now you're eighty thousand in the hole rent 1200 a wow. month net 900 after cost right yep another two hundred eighty thousand dollars because the market is appreciating. Wow. yes you're, you're nice. putting up a lot of your net worth at that time that was everything i right. sold my car at the time so i could go yeah. and buy wow. real estate yeah. the lotus yeah. okay, exige i think it was purchased 2012 again same thing 125 000 right okay Woo. that's it's a serious yeah. chunk of change so i used four years of savings to yeah. buy wow this. so you're still not using any leverage in debt nothing okay well that's wow. remarkable Fifteen thousand right. rental on that top is of that remarkable. so now you're out of pocket 140 that's a little nerve-wracking yep. rent 2145 per month after cost 1500 worth 400,000 today so that's a really significant bump yeah mm. um, but you know you got to admit you've, you've benefited from the appreciation of this one asset class real estate as interest rates went down correct wow. so there is an inherent risk of concentration here your entire net worth is only in real estate so far yep. you can see that Kevin knows exactly what he's talking about the way he's able to decipher and break things down like this this go the, this takes years of experience this takes years of knowledge of knowing exactly what you come on man you don't just randomly develop this ability to be able issue. to break things down property like that four, come on um property number four 2016, 2016. 780,000. you must have used that i did 60,000. see that on top of it. decipher that 210,000. that's your principal New. down payment plus, plus renovation okay that's good that's you know also a great investment but now we've brought leverage into the portfolio yes this is the one that you saw this is the one that i was house hacking on that you thought was mm. a good idea yeah 585 loan 620. and by the way for the people Wait that don't know what house hacking in it is it means basically is to break it down in simple form it's you buy a duplex you live on one side of the duplex duplex meaning you know them houses it's one house but it has two separate doors or it's almost it's almost a big house that's split in half that's a duplex um where you live on one side and then the rent that um that the in, the the, in, the income that comes from the other property or the other side of the property is what covers the house basically it covers the whole thing it covers the rent for the house it covers the mortgage and essentially you're living for free basically because they the neighbors the neighbors are paying the rent for the whole house you're basically living for free if you move that that place that place will still be covered because the 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 final rental income is being covered um you know by the next door neighbors basically which if you ask me is absolutely genius it's something we plan on doing as well because i did a cash out refinance yeah. so what i did is i fixed this place up i put about right here two hundred and twenty thousand dollars total in renovation whoa whoa, whoa so whoa, now it's worth whoa. about 1250 Dang. and i did a cash out refinance so what was, it was a real junker right yeah because that's wow. a serious amount of change you're putting in. Yeah, that one needed okay. a lot of work. That so, was uh, so now you're yeah. using leverage and you're spending to invest, including adding more leverage. Correct. So what I like to start thinking about in terms of debt, a particular leverage on real estate or any mm. investment. Mm -hmm. uh, look at um, these silly ads. Well, we're going to skip it, obviously. Being sensitive we are back, but he just said something super, super important that I want us to all listen. Fan and values go down across any asset class mm. including real estate you uh, back a bit more mm -hmm. um, if the poopoo hits the fan yep here we go values go down across any asset class mm. including real estate you still owe that million dollars correct which so is you crazy gotta start being sensitive to how much debt you want to bring into your world a lot of people don't understand how debt can put you out of business mm. if things mm. go fast you have yeah. to be ready to pay that million off at any time a great analogy i met i met a very very wealthy uh, real estate developer in new york that came over with nothing from europe when he was young when he was 18 years old the He's hustle multi-billionaire now Woo! and each time he bought a building he did apartments mm. he would call it either a pasta or a protein building and i said what mm -hmm. does that mean 
He said, well, I start with my first building, and I would take a lot of debt down, and I would get the rent roll up so I was 100% leased out, and I would only eat pasta until I paid off all the debt. I said, really? Okay. He said, yeah, because it was just my wife and I, and we had all this mortgage on that building, and I, got, I know what happens during mm. you know, cycles. Mm. Mm. And so once they paid off that building, and now all the cash flow was coming out of the building with no debt on it, he'd start to eat steak. <laughs> that became mm -hmm. a protein sure. building. Mm. And his whole life was always making sure that he had enough buildings protein with steak, no debt on it steak. to sustain mm. the downturns. Because uh -huh. the New York, in those days, every seven years would take a dive of 30%. So what he would do is he'd always have a couple of protein buildings spinning cash. When the correction hit, he'd use that cash flow to buy new buildings. Hmm. But he never let, he never went bankrupt because he never extended himself so far that the protein... I, I get it. Do you, do you, hopefully you guys get it. Um, it's basically making sure that everything is paid off to, 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 to dumb it down. It's basically making sure that everything is um, paid off or whatever investment you buy. Say, for example, I buy a house, making sure that that house is paid off before I buy a second house. Okay, because then that first house that's paid off is going to be now an income generating machine okay or a piece of real estate whatever it is it's going to become an income generating machine that you can then use that cash to fund your next project whether you're going to buy another building another um, property whatever it is um and whilst um uh, the the house is not yet paid off he'll eat pasta once the house is paid off he'll eat steak protein hopefully you guys get it so let's get it let's get it let's get it buildings couldn't pay off the mortgages you know of the past the buildings right get, you get the analogy right, right? Mm -hmm. my thought has always been the interest rate is so low fixed for 30 years cash flow sustains it yeah and between the write-offs and maybe inflation maybe we don't see it but either way the worst case for me has always been a break even on the interest rate that i'm paying so okay we, we go on here okay uh, so this is property number six yeah six wow is this guy duplex. everyone is going up yes like we're spending more, yes. we're putting more debt on. This is uh, 815,000 loan 680. So you put, there's a little equity from day one, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. 3.625, very good. Down payment, 115,000, worth 965. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And all of these, by the way, are rented under market value. I get it. Nice. But how long are the, are the leases for? One year. And so do you get to bump it up? I don't raise rents. Oh what? my days, this silly <laughs> ad. My thought is if I have a really good tenant who yeah. always pays on time and no issues, I would mm. rather just not raise the rent Got and it. keep them there a long time. For a long time. And if they do so move out, then it's kind of like gravy to me because I'm able to rent it out for even more to the next tenant and then tell them they could stay there as long as they want at that price. Yeah. And for me, I've had some tenants now for seven or eight years. But property wow. seven okay. purchased 2.1 million. That's right. our number one right. on the hit parade, right? This is this year. <laughs> yeah, so this is where I am living now. Okay. Loan, this is your primary residence. Yes. That's why you got the 2.875 rate. Now at the end of this journey, what is your total debt nut across all the buildings? About 2.9. Okay, I I'm just saying that would start to make me nervous. Worry. Just not because it isn't well invested. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a big number. Like a lot of, it, can you take the hit? If, just look at it that way. Yeah. Can you pay down, you know, three million bucks? Yes. Oh! As long as you can say yes to <laughs> That is, that's like poetry right there. That's like music to my ears. Can you pay down three million? Yes. What does that tell you? That lets you know Graham has more than three million, possibly liquid, if not liquid, um, meaning he's got cash that he can grab like instantly. If not liquid, which I doubt he has liquid three million, um, he can quickly pull it out from investments that don't require him to be invested in long term. Do you get what I mean? So either he has it into a high yield savings account or or he has it into um, like, I don't know, well, some of his real estate, obviously, stock market as well. OK, it won't be ideal for him to withdraw it out from the S&P 500. But if worse came to worse, I'm sure he'll be able to use some of that as well, as well as whatever that's coming in as well as let's not forget his youtube income is like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month not per year per month so he would have that army as well uh to be able to help him but so far i'm 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 loving look smash the like button right now 
if you're watching up until this point destroy that like button because this is immense value this is insane value and we genuinely appreciate this content you get so levered up that you can't find 15 i'm learning so much i'm like a student here i don't have any debt i don't have, i've got to a point in my life where i just don't that's like it debt. so i buy things for cash and i understand why debt works in this model assuming the rental market remains buoyant but there comes a point in your life and you're still too young i don't want any obligation to anybody mm -hmm. but don't you think that's because you already have so much money now that for you going and trying to borrow at three percent to make five mm. might not be worth your time versus right. just the hassle free of i'm going to buy it cash not yeah. think about it well mm. except because i'm older than you i've seen a lot of things and i've mm. been through a lot of down cycles Lots of my friends mm. got wiped out. Mm. I mean, Oof. imagine being in your 40s and wow. being wiped out, having to wow. go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like that changes your life forever because you have that on your back. Yeah. I would never want to wish that on anybody because it is a horrible thing to happen. It makes and sense. And the only reason it happened to them is they didn't respect debt. You're being disciplined. You're buying assets that have income. They that were is so true because imagine, just like he said, imagine being in your 40s, 60s, 50s, and now you have to go back to square one because why? Maybe you didn't diversify enough or you just simply wasn't wise with your money. You took on way too much debt than you can pay off in, in a heartbeat just in case things went upside down. Well, guess what? We live in the world and um, sometimes Murphy's Law will come knocking on your door. That rhymed, by the way. I didn't mean to rhyme. But sometimes Murphy's Law will come knocking on your door, meaning you have to spill up some cash right up front to be able to cover some of your investments. Well, if Just in case the bank decide they want their money and things aren't working out great for them, so they see who's borrowed the most, which happened to be you. You maybe are two million in deep and now you have to give the money back or you have to pay them off. So what are you going to do? You've got no money. Therefore, they strip away all your assets. You owe them money. You are now finished bankrupt you have to declare all kind of nonsense so if you're being wise with your personal finance with your money then it will be good not only to diversify but whatever debt you take on to make sure in a heartbeat you can back it up because if not it's going to backfire and come for you one Boats day potentially you know that's what kevin is saying and right there watches and getting divorced they love their lifestyle yeah yeah they went to zero they you went to, to zero you have to respect that and you do Th this makes sense to me but again, I go back to that guy in New York, protein building, pasta building, and the whole idea of respecting how debt can rip your life sure. apart. Yeah. That's, but so far, I don't see any crazy. You're not using debt to buy stupid stuff. Right. Mm. That's basically what's going on here. All right, All right. so this now is okay, so a your video. He's the takeaway is respect the respect that he wasn't a 10 because he didn't diversify enough yeah okay yeah well, I i'm glad that to video. see that because i never let one asset class ever become more than 20 percent of my net worth clearly wow real estate still remains more than 20 percent of your net worth mm -hmm. one of your goals should be over time is to make it to get such a broad portfolio in, in your net worth that real estate's only 20 percent so mm. if that asset class really has a hard time, it can't take you out of business. Got it. Nice. So let's look at this. Stock market investments. Individual stocks, 1.14 million. You see, Index hold on. Let's just talk upon this really quickly. You see what I love about Graham is you see this a ton, right? People, they get in front of a billionaire, for example, such as Kevin O'Leary or someone you can clearly see they've got more wisdom than me. They've got more knowledge, more experience everything basically as well as more money than me the best thing you can do isn't to start yapping about and start acting like you know or you also you know you carry yourself in a certain look that is the best place or the best time to be super humble extremely humble and just learn and just listen because you've got more to learn from them than they've got to learn from you because you're trying to get to where they are at they're not trying to get to where you are Okay, you're trying to arrive to you're trying to arrive at their destination. So it would be it will it will make it it will make all of the sense in the world for you to just shut your mouth and pay attention. You might pick up some amazing nuggets which you can clearly see um, Graham is doing as well as asking questions and you know things of that nature. So he knows he's 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 basically looking into his Kevin's brain and just seeing what can I pick out. You know wise wise decision to make you know the wisest oh, decision mm. 772,000 um 
stock market so hold on let's good. just break this down so you can see so stock market he's got stocks of um 1 million 1 1.4 what did i tell you guys he's obviously he can back it up <laughs> he can put his money where his mouth is so stocks already 1.1 1. 1, um million index funds 772,000 um CA tax bonds he's got 150,000 in there um SLV which if i haven't forgotten we're still a student but silver i'm assuming 12,000 uh, in silver uh, acorns uh, ETCs 40 cash 320 you, you can clearly back it up he Good. did mention that 50,000 silver 12,000 acorns so using acorns, silver yes cool. yeah I uh, test out all the apps so I can give yeah, it a shot. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cash, uh, 320. That's so, within the stock market brokerage. Yeah. It's not all cash. Just so I, I continually buy into the market. The discipline okay. is every 90 days to trim back anything over 5% and put it into something else that you decide. So hold on. Let me just rewind that part because I said we're learning as well. As I same time as buy in. That's so, within the stock market brokerage. It's yeah. not all cash. Just so I... I so that's within the stock market brokerage it's not all cash just so he can continuously buy into the market so rather than spending okay clever so rather than spending the whole three hundred and twenty thousand and buying a lump sum of um, um you know of shares and whatnot he's decided to keep that money into that brokerage a uh, brokerage and then each and every single month he buys, I don't know, maybe a grand worth of shares or 50,000 or 100,000, whatever number he's got prized on. So this way, I'm assuming the reason as to why he's done this. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Graham, if you're ever watching this video for um, for whatever reason. Um, I'm assuming it's done that way so that you can catch the market like when it's at its lowest. You still got cash to be able to throw in and, you know, leverage basically. Um, or when it's high, then you know it is what it is if you're still buying anyways the projection i'm assuming the market will go up in a few more years so that's what i think um uh, he's done that that way if if that's the case then absolutely genius um, buy into the, market. Salute. the discipline is every 90 days to trim back anything over five percent and put it into something else that you've decided to go into what happens to portfolios like this that aren't it's like trimming a hedge mm -hmm. no sector more than 20%, no stock more than five. You've got okay. three stocks here over five. You give up some of the upside, but when the correction hits, like a Tesla rolls over and goes down 38%, mm -hmm. mm. you don't take the full hit because you've taken profit out on the trimming. I'm worried about taxes. Yeah. Because my is thought the, is 50%. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. tell, I'm telling you, that's the biggest mistake you can make in your life mm. is to worry about taxes. The fact that you have to worry about taxes is a wonderful thing. It means you're making money. But mm. to say, mm. oh, I don't want to sell, you know, a stock that's now 11% of my portfolio because I don't want to take the tax hit. Mm -hmm. You will pay a brutal price for that. Mm. You'll uh. have a massive correction. You won't have taken any gains and you will hurt yourself immensely. That's the one thing mistake you're making here. So you've got to do your work. Are you using any margin? No. That's the other thing. Never use margin in stocks. Mm -hmm. Never do that. Never, 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 never. People think margin's free. Mm -hmm. mm. When there's a correction, you get slaughtered. Right. They'll sell you out in two seconds. Cash position, 1.8 between cash, 1.75, 12 months CD. 200,000 cash, and, but you need this to make down deposit, to make deposits on real estate. What is cash for your total net worth? How much cash do you have uh, versus your entire net worth? So cash would be about 30% That's cash, healthy, that's yeah. healthy. I actually have more than 30% in cash. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've had some uh, exits in real estate recently. I sold my commercial real estate, and I'm going to wait until I see what the economy looks like in 36 months to go back in. But as wow. a result, I'm sitting on a ton of cash. This is a really exciting one. I don't know if I can mention this in the video because I haven't announced it yet, but yeah. I put mm. in a company called mm. They're a startup, mm -hmm. valued it. Mm -hmm. I've learned okay. from Shark Tank, because this is a Shark Tank investment type thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must be ready to absolutely write that off. Yep. Because there's okay. a 50-50 chance you will. Mm -hmm. It'll be a tax loss for yep. you. Very few people can achieve this. I didn't achieve it when I was 30. Hmm. That's really, wow. really hard to do. Wow. And the, re the reason you got there is you're extremely disciplined. You only deployed capital into assets that you thought might appreciate primarily wow. real estate. Mm -hmm. Listen, Genius. the only negative I can say about you is that you got too much real estate, but that's how you made your money in the first right. place. Working on it, 
Yeah. So what would wow. you give this? One out of ten. I think you gave me an eight point two yeah, three four I, well, in the as last a, as nine. An operator, That's you know, you're an eight. But as a portfolio manager, I got to bring you down to probably a seven, maybe oh. a six and a half. Why? Oh. Over concentrated one asset. Fair enough. So if I just looked at this without knowing who you were, I'd say this guy has too much real estate. Okay. And mm. so. Um, you know, but if you real estate is who you are, so I get it. But every all your all your maneuvering now should be raise more cash, buy more diversity, maybe a little more conservative. You know, my portfolio of I probably have a thousand stocks, but the majority of wow. them all pay me, and they pay me monthly. Mm -hmm. So Oof. I have a really strong cash flow every month, and my biggest problem is what do I do with the cash. And wow. that's why I buy watches. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get him to say smash the oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, destroy. This the you say, destroy video the like has been an the like immense yes. destroy amount of value. The like button for the YouTube algorithm. And one Des last thing, you've got to remember to destroy <laughs> the, let's start again. the like button. Oh, destroy the like button yeah, yeah, for the YouTube yeah. algorithm. One more thing, you've got to remember to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Do it. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe, of course. Cool. Oh, Thanks so thanks. much. You got it. So with that said, you guys, thank you so that much for watching. I really appreciate it. As awesome. always, make sure to destroy subscribe. the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, feel free to add Ooh. me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. So How if you want Weeble? to be part of it there, feel free to add me there as on my second channel, The Grams. Guys, um, I can't even. <sighs> that is a one in a lifetime opportunity almost, you know? Like, it's amazing to be able to, to do that. Like, I would, I would love to meet Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, Barbara, like, all of them. Damien, let's not forget FUBU. Like, I'm just priceless. Like, that was amazing. That video was amazing. I learned so much. Like, my brain is like, because I'm thinking just... It's just valuable, especially because it's coming from Kevin. And you know he knows what he's doing. So... That just separates that, man. That just... Come on, man. There's, I'm speechless. There's nothing to say apart from smash the like button. Like, what else do you want me to say? Shake it. There we go. Smash that like button. Like... Ah, that's awesome. That's that's generally awesome. I mean, if you want your free shares, um, then Trading212, if you join Trading212, they will give you a free share where that's valued up to £100. All you have to do is deposit £1 into the account and you get your free share. And also myself as well. So link is in the description. Be sure to grab your free share and get started. As always, I love you guys. You guys mean a ton to me. And um, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Every single link is in the description. If you want discount on the YouTube um, um, course that we have as well, it's right there. Grab it. Make it. Make the most of it whilst it's there. By watching this video, you did not waste your time. Don't forget to tell your haters to get in line. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Much love, my friends. Bye bye. Oh. That was amazing, man. Like, honestly speaking, like, that was actually sick. That was so sick, man. But anyways, peace out, guys. And, um, yeah, bye-bye.